Berlin. They do say that a travelling chap will put in the newspaper now that the bit of green ground on the map should be all a took in for the plough. He'd have fancied it is easy to show that we can be but stun poles at best, for to leave a green spot where a flower can grow, or a foot weary walker mid rest. Tis hedge grubbin Thomas, and ledge grubbin never a done, while a sovereign wars to be won. The road, he'd have say, is so wide as tis wanted for travellers' wheels. As if all that did travel did ride, and did never get galls on their heels. He would leave such a thin strip of ground, that if a man's vit in his shoes were a burning and sore, why he couldn't sit down, but the wheels would run over his toes. For tis make money, Thomas, and take money. What sold and bought is all that is worthy of thought. Years ago, the lane sides did bear grass for to pull with the geese's red bills. That did hiss at the folk that did pass, or the boys that picked up their white quills. But shortly, if power or vive of our goslins do creep from the ag, they must mope in the garden, more dead than alive, in a coop or a tide by the lag. For to catch at land, Thomas, and snatch at land, now is the plan. Make money wherever you can. The children will soon have no place for the playing, and if they do grow, they will have a thin mushroom face with their bodies so sumple as dough. But a man is a maid of a child, and his limbs do grow worksome by play. And if the young child's little bodies are spoiled, why the man's will the sooner decay. But wealth is worth now more than health is worth. Let it all go, if it'll bring but a sovereign or two. For to breed the young fox or the hare, we can give up all acres of ground. But the greens be a grudged for to rear our young children up healthy and sound. Why, there won't be a left the next age, a green spot where their vit can go free. And the gucko will soon be committed to cage for a trespass in somebody's tree. For tis locking up, Thomas, and blocking up, stranger or brother, men mustn't come nigh one another. One day I went in at a gate with my child where an echo did sound. And the owner come up and did rape me as if I would car off his ground. But his field and the grass were a net, and the damage that he could have took were at most, but the while I did open the gate, I did rub round the eye on the hook. But tis driven out, Thomas, and heaven out, trample new grounds unless you be after the hounds. Ah, the squire of Culverdell Hall, where as different as light is from dark, be some folk that as evening did fall at a broke through long grass in his park. For he went with a smile for to meet with the trespassers while they did pass. And he said, I do fear you'll catch cold in your vit. You've a walk through so much of my grass. His mild words, Thomas, cut him like swords, Thomas, newly a wet and went further with them than a threat. <laughs>